a 15-lap restart for the first race in British Superbikes here at Truxton. And uh, a terrific start by John Hopkins on the Lloyd's British Motor Rapido to Cathy Patagali. He leaps to the front ahead of Josh Brooks, who was leading the race when it was red flag, and Dan Linford. Shaky Bird gets enmeshed in an enormous battle with the, the WD40 Kawasaki there of Jack Kennedy, who swoops around the outside of the Tyco BMW of Tommy Bridewell, while at the front, Brooks breaks with demon lateness into the chicane and gets the better of early leader John Hopkins. Having said, he couldn't really run the pace Hopkins was setting early on. Meanwhile, Byrne involved in this massive battle for fourth place, and it's uh, James Westphalen cutting his way through that one as Dan Linford sides past the Ducati on the Honda Fireblade, moves through into second place. Danny Buchan is the next man on the scene, They're trying to get the better of Shaky Byrne. The tall Essex boy does get the better of him, but suddenly into battle for the roster because out goes the Ducati of John Hopkins. James Westphalen, though, gets his head down and moves clear. Buchan desperately trying to outbreak Shaky Byrne, has Luke Mossy for company, and Tommy Bridewell also moves back into the equation. Howie Main running smart with that huge outside pass on Burn has the compliment repaid as they go into the final chicane. But look at Buchan going the long way round Bridewell to cut inside on the left-hander with a couple of laps to go. And then this happens on the final lap. A massive collision between Danny Buchan as he loses the front of the BYZ Kawasaki and hits Tommy Bridewell. The luckless Bridewell is thrown to the ground and Josh Brooks takes his 23rd British Superbike race win ahead of Dan Lindford and the Honda and then tries to burn out on that grippy tarmac.